There are a ton of rare or expensive video games out there, but truth be told, a lot of those games are actual garbage. Today, we're gonna take a look at some rare or expensive games that are downright awesome. Let's get into it. A weird and wacky video game published by Taito in 1992 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, let's start off with Panic Restaurant. The game stars a chef named Cookie who must make his way through his very own restaurant, which has been cursed by his arch enemy, Chef Odove. The game features some super bright and bold sprites and this is actually one of my favorite things about the entire game. Almost every single level in Panic Restaurant is colorful. It really is a reminder that back in the days, video games seemed to be a little bit more vibrant. Besides that, the gameplay plays a lot like, let's say, Hammer and Harry or even Mr. Gimmick. And if you don't know those games, let's just say that's a really good thing. Right now on video game price charts, if you go check out Panic Restaurant, the game loose is going for about $493. That's profit! A highly sought after Super Nintendo shmup, a game that really brings the heat, we're talking about Arrow Fighters. Arrow Fighters is the spiritual successor to a 1991 game called Turbo Force. Shmups are super hit and miss for me. There's some that I love and I think they're fantastic, and then there's others that I can't stand and I really can't get into at all. With that said, Arrow Fighters does not fall flat. There are a ton of power-ups as expected, clean graphics, lovely sound effects, and the game does not suffer from slowdown, which is a huge problem for shooters on the Super Nintendo. The only real complaint I have about Arrow Fighters on the Super Nintendo is the music. It's not terrible, but it just kind of falls flat and really doesn't do anything for me at all. Now, if you want to get the game and play it for yourself on an actual Super Nintendo cartridge, I hope you can fork out about $575. That's robbery! A Capcom game on the Sega Genesis I said Sega Genesis when I meant Sega Dreamcast. That I didn't even know was pricey until about a month ago. Cannon Spike! Spike is a top-down, isometric style video game. Truthfully, I don't really remember the story for this game, but I do recall the game being a blast. Cannon Spike feels so arcade-like. Yes, it was released in the arcades. It has a fast-paced, smash TV style feel here. But out of everything and all the pros with Cannon Spike, the biggest plus and upside to the game, in my opinion, is all the cool characters you get to choose from and play as in the game. There is Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins, Baby Bonnie Hood from Darkstalkers, Charlie from Street Fighter Alpha, Sheba from Three Wonders, and freaking Mega Man. I can totally recommend Cannon Spike to all of you if you have it at home. If you can't find it for cheap, I don't know if I can recommend it for the $100 that everyone's asking for it for the CD only. I'm here to make you an offer you cannot refuse. Definitely my favorite and top choice of all the games on this list, a cute em up side-scrolling shooter known as Magical Chase on the TurboGrafx-16. This game was released on November 15th in 1991 and what a sight to see and what a game to experience. Magical Chase is a pure joy to play and also a wonderful delight to watch others play. In Magical Chase you journey through the sky as a witch named Ripple flying on a broomstick. This is accompanied by upbeat fast paced action and charming visuals to heighten your sense of happiness. There are a total of 6 levels here and you can choose to play it on either normal mode or hard mode. You collect gems in this game by destroying enemies, and then in turn you can use those gems to buy power-ups, extra lives, and health. I don't just recommend this game to fans of the shooter genre, I recommend this game to every gamer out there. The only problem is, if you're a collector and you want a physical copy in complete form, the game's gonna cost you about $5,500. 
I'll be Mrs. Millionaire McDuck. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Superhero Game Squad. If you like this video, please give it a like so that I know you like it and I can do more videos like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see videos at least four days a week and live stream at least one to two days a week as well. That's it, you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. Goodbye.